भाई वैसे क्यूब्स हम टॉकिंग अबाउट थ्री डी फिगर क्यूब्स ओके नाउ दिस क्यूब पर्टिकुलरली हैज थ्री थिंग्स वन इज फेसिस सिक्स एजेस हाउ मेनी एजेस क्यूब हैज ट्वेल्व फेसिस ऑब्वियसली यू मैडर सीन अ डाइस वे हैव वन टू सिक्स एजेस यू कैन जस्ट लुक एट द रूम यू हैव टॉप फोर एजेस यू हैव बॉटम फोर एजेस एंड यू हैव कनेक्टिंग फोर एजेस तो ट्वेल्व एजेस एंड कॉर्नर्स यू सी टॉप फोर कॉर्नर्स एंड बॉटम फोर कॉर्नर्स सो एट Anybody knows Euler's theorem on this? Faces plus corners is edges plus two. Euler's theorem on three-dimensional figures. Okay, for any three-D figure, this is true. Faces plus corners is edges plus two. Okay. Anyway, that's not that important for you right now. Okay, because it's about talking about cubes. Let's go cube. In, let's go inside cube. Let's talk about the first top topic in cubes: cutting a cube. Yeah. चार चार नीचे चार हाउ डू यू कट अ क्यू ओके लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड हाउ डू यू कट अ क्यू ये ना ऊपर चार है नीचे चार है कनेक्ट वाला चार है ठीक है हाउ डू यू कट अ क्यू लेट्स रॉक या हाउ डू यू कट अ क्यू नाउ आई एम जस्ट मेकिंग अ फ्रंट पोर्शन ऑफ अ क्यूब अ क्यूब कैन बी कट इन One direction by parallel cuts. Let's say I'm cutting it y direction by parallel cuts. X axis, y axis along the y axis. If I make four cuts, how many pieces do I get? Five. Yes. Along the x axis, let's say I cut twice. How many pieces do I get? Three. Along the z axis, let's say I make three cuts. How many pieces do I get? Four. Do you understand that? So if you make parallel cuts, you'll get one piece more. So you make four cuts in one direction. You get five pieces. If you make five cuts in one direction, you get six pieces. If you make six cuts in one direction, you get seven pieces. If you make n cuts in one direction, you get n plus one pieces. Simple as that. However, this cube is being cut along the y-axis, the x-axis, and the z-axis. That's why the number of pieces will get multiplied and not added. It's like cutting an onion. So how do you cut an onion? You make some ten, fifteen cuts like this. So you divide ten, fifteen parts, and then you chop it off from the middle. So you get fifteen parts on the top and fifteen parts at the bottom, thirty parts, right? Basically, the cutting is always multiplication. Whenever you cut, you multiply. So if I cut a cube along the y-axis by four cuts, cut a cube along the x-axis by two cuts, and cut a cube along the z-axis by three cuts, I'm going to make five, three, and four pieces, which means I'm going to make totally sixty pieces. Okay? So you can have a question like this. I mean, you will not have a question like this, but just for reference. Y axis four cuts, Z X axis two cuts, and Z axis three cuts. Number of pieces you can form is sixty. As a total, clear? It's like cutting fruits, cutting vegetables, whatever. Okay, practically. It's like a famous interview question: How do you cut a cake using three cuts and make eight pieces? You'll cut one like this, one like this. We make four pieces, and you cut one through the cake. Yeah. So you'll make four on the top and four at the bottom. Okay, they never mentioned cream should be there everywhere. Okay, so it's okay. So four at the top, four at the bottom, so you can make eight cuts, eight pieces. <coughs> All right, yeah. So that's how we cut a cube. Okay. Now let's say I have a question. What is the maximum number of pieces you can make by cutting the cube in fifteen cuts? You want to cut a cube, you have fifteen cuts allowed. What is the max piece you can make? Now in fifteen cuts, if I have one directional cut, I'll just make sixteen pieces. But that's not my maximum, right? I want to maximize. So how do you maximize? You actually distribute the cuts. How many axes do we have? Three axes. So I'll distribute 15 cuts along uh, among three axes. Okay. Now the question arises: How do I distribute? Do I do it like nine, four, and one, or do I do like ten, two, and three? What do I do? I'll keep five, five, five. Why keep five, five, five? Because when numbers are equal, the product is the highest. Let's take an example. Let's say a plus b is ten. In how many ways can I divide a plus b is ten? Okay, let's see. So I have one nine, I have two eight. I'm talking non-negative, non-zero. Okay, I have three seven, I have four six, I have five five. The rest will be repetition of the same six four and all that. Let's find out the product. What is the product here? Nine. What is here? Sixteen. Here twenty one. Here twenty four. Here twenty five. What is the maximum? Twenty five. When do they observe this? Number the same. So since you want to maximize it. You'll keep the numbers same. So I'll give five. 
फाइव एंड फाइव इफ नॉट सेम ट्राई टू गिव दम एज क्लोज एज पॉसिबल बिकॉज यू मे नॉट गेट अ मल्टीपल ऑफ थ्री एवरी टाइम ओके सो इफ यू कट फाइव फाइव कट्स ऑन दी एक्स फाइव ऑन वाई फाइव ऑन जेड हाउ मनी पीसेज डू मेक एंड वट इज द टोटल नंबर ऑफ पीसेस टू हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी दैट्स योर मैक्सिमम पीसेस फॉर्म वेन यू हैव फिफ्टीन कट्स कैन टेल मी वट इज दी आंसर वेन एटीन कट्स How many? Six, six, six. Very nice. So, how many pieces can I make? Seven, seven, seven. So, how many pieces total? Three forty-three. Are we clear? Now, tell me, what about twenty cuts? I told you, if you cannot keep it equal, keep it as close as possible. Twenty. How do you keep twenty? Now, twenty is not a multiple. Perfect. Twenty is not a multiple, but we know twenty-one is a multiple. So, twenty-one is seven, seven, seven. One less will be seven. Seven six, so eight eight seven, sixty four seven is how much? Four forty eight. Perfect. That's how we cut a cube. Okay, in case of as many cuts as you want to, twenty cuts, nineteen cuts, eighteen cuts, whatever. Okay, got the point. Let's look at the reverse question. What is the minimum number of pieces? Sorry, what is the minimum number of cuts required to make three forty three pieces? Minimum number of cuts required to make three forty-three pieces. Now, since you want to minimize the number, see, three forty-two cuts, and I can definitely get three forty-three pieces. But three forty-two is not a minimum number; it's probably the maximum number. Okay, so three forty-two is not the minimum. We want to find the minimum number. So what I'll do is, I'll divide this into three parts equally. Since it is a number of pieces, the sign uses multiplication. Can you do that? Seven, seven, seven. Which means how many cuts you made on each axis? Six cuts on each axis, and the total number of cuts will be eighteen. Okay. Obviously, you add the cuts and multiply the pieces. Simple as that. Because cuts cannot be multiplied. Perfect. The result is multiplied, not the cuts. <coughs> What do you do for thousand? Thousand pieces. Ten and ten, ten, ten. How many cuts required? Nine each. Total number of cuts. Twenty-seven. Clear? What if you have some intermediate number which is not a cube? Let's say, for example, I have two fifty. Now, what to do? It is not a cube. Don't find the nearest cube. Try to break down two fifty. I can break it down in this manner: ten into twenty-five, which is two, five, five, five. So I have five, five, ten, basically. I think this is the closest, right? Five, five, ten. You, can, you cannot go closer than five, five, ten. Closest means what? The difference between the highest and the lowest should be the minimum. Should be minimum. Yeah, it's perfectly fine. So I think five, five, ten suits the best. Five, five, ten. So what are the number of pieces for uh, cuts required? Nine, four, and four. What is four plus four plus nine? Seventeen. And that's the number of cuts needed. Seventeen cuts. Can I do the same thing for three twenty four? Three twenty four is eighteen into eighteen. That is two nine two nine. That is four nine nine. Do you think this is closest? Four nine nine is closest. Can I do the closer? By the way, this is six three zero six three zero. Can I say six six nine is the best? Closest. See here, the highest is nine, lowest is four. Difference is five. Here, the highest is nine, lowest is six. Difference is three. Closest? I think I cannot go closer than six six nine. So, six into six into nine. So how many pieces required? I mean, sorry, how many cuts required? Five five eight. What is five five eight? Eighteen cuts. So you can do the same job in eighteen cuts as you can do in three twenty three cuts. You can do it in eighteen cuts also. And we need the minimum, so the answer is 18 cuts. Are you clear with this? Cutting and reverse, going, going reverse, finding out how many cuts are required, and how do you cut it? Fine, perfect. Next topic in cube. See, nothing of, <coughs> no question will come from these topics. The question will come to the eventual topic that we're do doing in cubes. For that, we we'll have to build up. These are the basic building blocks of these are basic building blocks of cubes. Okay, like cutting and all that. Let's say I have a three by three by three cube. Okay, now there's a three by three by three cube. Okay, if you notice carefully, there are small cubes inside it. 
okay now like for example this 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 particular one this one is a small q yeah so of the size 1 by 1 by 1 it's like rubik's cube you've seen rubik's cube right so every cube will become a small q total structure is a bigger one which is 3 by 3 by 3 this structure it is formed by these cubes how many these cubes are required volume by volume 27 cubes are required okay so this structure is formed by 27 cubes of this structure one by one by one clear how many 27 but we are more interested in how are these cubes placed inside if you notice on a rubik's cube on the surface you will find 26 cubes basically what i mean to say is if you try to dismantle this cube pick up one 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 from each i mean remove the cubes you will find a small cube inside the structure which is actually balancing the entire structure okay so when i open a 3 by 3 by 3 cube when i open means opening only the surface cubes i am left with a 1 by 1 by 1 cube inside it so 3 by 3 by 3 cube can completely cover a 1 by 1 by 1 cube can completely cover from all directions okay or let's say i want the i, I want to do the other way around I want to see, I want to form a cube that can cover this cube. So I want to form a bigger cube that can cover this. How do I cover this cube by the way? I'll put one layer here. I'll put one layer down. I'll put one layer on the right hand side. I'll put one layer on the left hand side. I'll put one layer in the front. I'll put one layer in the back. Perfect. So basically understand one thing. The height was three. I increased it by one, one each on both sides. So I made how much? Five. The breadth was three. I increased one here and one here. How many did I make it? Five again. Okay, talk about the width. It was three. I increased one in the front and one in the back. How many did I make it? Five. So basically I made a five by five by five structure. So if you want to cover this up, you have to have a five by five by five structure around it. How do you cover a five by five by five structure? Seven by seven by seven. It's simple. It's like painting the room. It's like painting a cube, a cubicle. Okay, you paint on the top, paint at the bottom, you increase the height by 2. You paint in the front, paint at the back, increase the width by 2. Paint in the left, paint at the right, paint at the right, you increase the breadth by 2. Are we clear? So 5 by 5 by 5 can be completely covered by 7 by 7 by 7. How do you cover 7 by 7 by 7? Nine. Very nice, 9 by 9 by 9. So let's go reverse. If you open 9 by 9 by 9, you get 7 by 7 by 7. If you open this, you get 5 by 5 by 5 if you open this you get 3 by 3 by 3 and if you open this you get 1 by 1 by 1 so if you open a 6 by 6 by 6 what do you get 4 by 4 by 4 if you open a 4 by 4 by 4 what do you get 2 by 2 by 2 if you open a 2 by 2 by 2 what do you get nothing it's empty okay empty in the sense there's no space inside it are we clear that's how you open a cube or cover a cube. Why is this important? Because one of the concept comes on this. You can take it down. Type one question. How many extra cubes? How many extra cubes are required to cover a 5 by 5 by 5 cube if sub question 1 it is suspended in the air not literally hypothetically it is suspended it is suspended in the air number 2 it is kept on a table. It is kept on a table. Number three. It is kept along the edge of the room. And number four. It is kept at one corner of the room. One of the corners of the room. <coughs> Right. How many extra cubes are required if it is so, if it is suspended in the air, if it is kept on a table, if it is along the edge, if it is along at one of the corners. 
Let's have a look. Suspended in the air means all faces are exposed. All faces are exposed, which means how many how many will be required? A seven by seven by seven. What do you understand by seven by seven by seven? Three forty three. Three forty three should be the total number of cubes formed, right? But you already have how much? One twenty five already have. So how many extra required? Two hundred eighteen. Okay. That's the extra required because you already have a 5 by 5 by 5 with you, which means you already have 125 small cubes with you. You want to make it now 343 small cubes. So you need extra 218 18 cubes. Are we clear? So this structure will form. This you already have. The remaining is 218. Okay. So you'll need 218 cubes extra, 218 cubes more to cover this. Okay. What do you understand by kept, kept on a table? When it's kept on a table, see what happens. When I place it on a table, the bottom is covered, right? The bottom face is covered. So I just need to increase this by 2, front and back by 1, 1, and only the top by 1, because bottom is covered by the table. Yeah? What are the dimensions in this case? 6 by 7 by 7. Because since it is a 5 by 5 by 5, you'll cover this up and this up will make it 7. We we'll cover this up and this up will make it 7, but only this will make it 6. What is 6 into 7 into 7? 49 6 is how much? Any guesses? 49 6 is 294. But how many did you have originally? 125. How many extra are needed? 169. And that's the answer. You need 169 extra cubes. Are we clear? Next question says, kept along the edge of the room. Now understand, when I have a cube and I keep this cube along the edge of the room, what happens when I keep it along the edge of the room? So basically this will intersect the edge of the room, which means this face is covered by one of the walls and the face next to it is also covered by one of the walls, right? So two walls will cover the two faces. Still you have a freedom of movement on top of top and bottom. So top and bottom can be increased by 2. On the right, only one increment is possible. Behind, only one increment is possible. So 7 by 6 by 6 will be a new structure. What is 6 by 6 by 7? 36, 7. Thank you. 36, 7 is how much? 2? 252. Perfect. 252. But I already have... 125, which means how many extra are needed? 127, perfect. That's the answer. 127 extra cubes are needed. Are we clear with this? <coughs> are we clear with this topic? Yeah. Next next uh, question was placed on a corner, at one of the corners, sorry. When you place it at a corner, what happens? This Let's say I place it on a corner. This 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 is intersecting the corner. So this face gone because of the wall. This face gone because of the wall. And bottom face gone because of the floor. So two walls and one floor. We'll take care of three faces. Okay? So how many left? Only this, this, and behind. So I'll increase this by one. I cannot do it in front. I can I can do it on top, but I cannot do it at the bottom. I can increase it this way, but I cannot do it in the left. So what is the new structure? Six by six by six with a six cube, two one six. And what is originally present with us? Five by five by five, which is one twenty five. So how many extra cubes are needed? Ninety one. And that's the answer. Ninety one extra cubes are needed for this. Are we clear on this? So wherever the cube is placed, depending on that, your answers will change. Okay. If it's suspended in the air, it's just two more. If it is placed anywhere else, just take care of which face is being covered and not. Alright, that's it about structures of a cube. Take the next topic, please. The next topic will be coloring a cube.